So I don't know if you guys will be able to see this very well or not, but this is the beginning of my garden. I believe today's Thursday. I think I did this on Tuesday. We had a little bit of sunshine and I planted um, a little round edge of strawberries. Can you see those right there? And then behind the strawberries, I did a row of cherry jewel nasturnums. And behind that, I did two Gerber daisies and a daylily that I rescued out of my yard. And over here, I did the same thing, two Gerber daisies and another daylily. And then right there, I have some apricot lemonade uh, cosmos. Now, my garden, this used to be the greenhouse, half, most of this. And you can see that it's a hot mess. I have some tomatoes over there that I have not gotten planted yet and some peppers and some more tomatoes. In that green container is potatoes in actually in both of those green potato or sorry, in both of those green containers I have potatoes. And then over here that gray on the end is a potato and then I have one container of strawberries. So this I'm planning to do on this side all of my pretty flowers i'm going to move those tomatoes over here and that side is going to be vegetables and flowers now i'm coming out to get these two pots right here actually three if i can carry them with one hand oh i don't think so and i gotta go take care of something in my little greenhouse so i'm going to bring you along for that Oh, and here's my mint right there. I cut a bunch of it off for my sister-in-law. I dried it out for her and my husband is taking it to her this afternoon. seriously and this is kind of what's going on outside of the greenhouse you can see that I have a number of plants here these kinds of things are dahlias that's a little rose bush I have some bicolored lavender that should come up purple and white I have more nasturtiums all of those over there are dahlias these are um, asters. I can't remember the name of them. I think they're Duchess asters. I have some poppies here that are not doing very well. There's just been so much rain. This big tub of strawberries, you and I, uh, you saw me when I planted that. Got some squash and some other things there. Some more dahlias right there. Here's my little fig tree. And you can just see the pooling of the rain. Over here, I have some uh, marguerite hollyhocks. Some more of those lavenders. I have some sort of squash here. I don't know what it is. I have some dahlias that are still coming up, barely. Over here is the remainder of my strawberries that I need to plant, and I'll plant those uh, kind of in the front where you saw them. You can see the rain. I mean, isn't it just ridiculous? Got some plants down there, mostly sedums and jujugas. And then inside here is what I'm working on. These are my works in progress. So there are some little violas, aren't those sweet? I dug those out of our driveway and these right there used to look like these. So these will all come along in time, maybe not every single one, but most of them should make nice little pretty 
pots. Up here are some dahlias that are pretty questionable and they shouldn't be. I got them from Swan Island and they just have not done what they need to do. I've got some squash. I have some sun patients right there that have really struggled. More dahlias. It doesn't look like anything's going on right there. I guess one has come up called Rebecca. I don't see any others. Here is a, what is that? Oh, my mind is blank. Down here are some baby's breath. They've been really hard. Uh, my peppers are just crap. <laughs> Absolute crap. <laughs> Worse than crap. I'm going to go to a little uh, greenhouse close to my house and buy some pepper plants because those are just ridiculous. This is chives, but they have a long germination time, so I'm not expecting anything right now from them. Over here, I have some lime, queen lime zinnias. This is some tom thumb lettuce right there. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't remember anymore. My husband came in and thought he was helping me out and built me some gorgeous shelves, which I absolutely love. But then he picked up everything that was on the ground that was not in containers and just threw them in containers and stuck them up here. So I have lost the names of a lot of what I'm growing. Down there you can see more violas. You hear that truck. That's my husband coming home. Over here are some Tom Thumbs that are coming right along. And this should be Nesternums and butternut squash but like I said I don't know some other things over there and that's it that's just the working garden and I got to plant a couple things in here this is a little lavender that I'm trying to rehabilitate it is not going well we will see and you can see I'm out of dirt Here is a little overview of sort of a shade area that I put on my garden. This of course is that fern that I dug up from my yard and it is doing beautifully. These appear to be white begonias and this is what I got from the food bank about three weeks ago and those are doing pretty good. Got a little bit of rough spots. We'll just go ahead and pick that off while we're here. Right here is a rose. It starts out lavender and as it ages, it turns pink. These are about to be um, taken off. And then two more begonias. A few little rough leaves, but nothing that can't be taken care of. There we go. All right, let me go show you what my garden looks like since I last showed it to you. Now, when I was here last, this is what you saw. You saw the strawberries, the nasturtiums, the cosmos. I called them day lilies in the video, but they're not day lilies. They're just some variety of lily. And that was all that was here. Okay, and then we had like a monsoon and I haven't planted anything uh, for a while, but I was able to get a few things in this week. Here on this side, I added three peppers and those should be a red yellow and an orange pepper and over here today I added one two three four five I added six more strawberries around the edge and then behind the strawberries I added sun patience right there some are blooming I have two more in my greenhouse that um, I am trying to rescue and they're a work in progress. We'll see how that goes. And then because I love nasturtiums, I did another little patch over here. Now, I don't know how you guys like to garden, but I crowd my garden, always have, always will. 
and I plant flowers in between my vegetables. So I also put this row in. This is a, J, a Joey Linda Ball Dahlia right there. And next to it is a tomato. And these are big colored tomatoes. So this is my, what color is this one? This is my orange tomato. Right there. Let's get that back in. Okay, so that's my orange tomato. And then right here is called a warm embrace dahlia. Next to that is my red tomato. And you can see that it's got its first little blooms. Over here is something called a florel dahlia, and that'll be a nice white ivory. It'll be pretty in between the tomatoes, and it will rise up above the tomatoes, but it will act as a, um, you know, birds and bees come and pollinate everything. This is my... Uh, tomato that I got from one of our roommate's friends, and this is called Bodacious. I know nothing about that tomato. This is another Florel Dahlia. This Dahlia is, or not Dahlia, this tomato is, what color is it? Yellow. This will be a yellow tomato, and you can see it's struggling a little bit. It's got some unpretty leaves. But we'll see if it picks up. This is a warm embrace dahlia. It's kind of a pink color. This is a purple tomato. And at the end is another one of those Joey Linda ball dahlias. So that's what I've got done. I also moved my containers back over here. The first three, green, green, gray, those are all potatoes. And that last one is strawberries, and I will be adding my remaining struggling strawberries to that bin. And that's where this is right now. All right, here's a few of my eggs this morning. I thought I would bring you in and show you. I believe I have 16 right now. So there's those. And then over here is a few more. And over here is a few more. So I'm going to restraw that so it's nice and comfy. And then it looks like our little friend, wait a minute. Hi, wait a minute. Are you going to lay an egg for me today, you pretty girl? All right, I'm going to leave you alone, precious. They think they're getting treats, but there's no treats right now. I do have a bowl in the kitchen, but I will not be bringing it out right now. This is, wait for me. This is, wait a minute. That is Sprout, and that is Matildi. And Matildi is the mother of Lucifina. Sprout is a little escape artist. This chicken is very nice. I don't know if she'll let me pet you while I have you on camera. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Tweety Bug. Don't you step on my eggs. You get in there. Do your egg business there, you little monster.